So serotonin, ironically, is mostly produced in the gut. Isn't that interesting? Your gut has its own brain. I always say 80% of your chemicals up here in your head are developed here in your gut. So if my population of bacteria in my gut is not healthy, and this is a challenge for so many people, if my inflammatory process in my gut are activated, if I have reflux, if I have uh, IBS, you know, uh, inflammatory bowel syndrome, if I have celiacs, if I have any, in, if I'm constipated, then my serotonin production in my gut is altered, which will subsequently affect my sleep. This mind-body connection. So health of the gut impacts the health of our brain and our sleep, and vice versa. So serotonin balance is necessary. So you can imagine that in one of the tools that we're going to talk about, it's going to be about food. It's going to be about bacteria. Because that is going to help in this regulatory function. 